Okay. I'm going to show you what I've done here. I've got a suspension on the front now. And on the sides, so that's all good. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have to stop this and put it up. And I'm going to turn on all the lights and we'll go for a ride. Let's see, I guess I'll show you how I turn the lights on here. Get that going. See, it's got pretty bright lights. <laughs> and they're on the 12 volt system. Got an interior light here, too. See there? Now I'm all super lit up. I don't need this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop this now and I gotta turn the camera. Okay, I'm going for a ride. I'll put you in this fancy thing up here. lights on here at night. Oh, they're fully charged. Shock absorbers. Let's see how good they work. I wish I had a clean windshield. Good boy, let's just Have fun with that sucker. <laughs> 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 Everything we don't have it on screen right now.
out here. Let's see. We should see it from the front there. Okay. Yo. Check this out. Down here on the Pueblo Nature Trail. It's awesome for my me and my trike. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how we got it all lined up here. We got our keyboard and our show set up. So we can do a show. And we're heading down there. This is pretty cool. Take a look around here. Wonder if I can uh, lock in sideways here. I'm not sure. I'll be glad when the bridge is done, I guess. Well, 
Sorry, that's that shit bird. The Murgatroyd. Exactly off road machine here. I reckon. Now, that's what we're doing. We're finding our way here. How we get around. There's the ride for you. <laughs> well, rest in peace. Darn it. Poor little thing. Uh, the wheel came off, and uh, I was forced to crash, <laughs> and I did. I'm a little bloody, I got stabbed on the way down. Yeah, the wheel came off, that's really a drag. Okay, well, I'm going to try and get out of this mess here, okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we, we lost the wheel, and uh, what I discovered, and this is going to be something that's pretty important to anybody who is messing around with Meridian tricycles, and I'm not sure if the others are designed the same way, but if you can see down here, the lock nut's gone there now. I, uh, I went ahead and welded that. And uh, it's rubbing on the fender, but I actually got it pretty straight here. I'll show you. Um, here we go. Uh, there you can see it. It's amazing that it's that straight. Um, now it's welded. So anyway, that's just so I can move it around. Um, I'm not going to risk it drive it like that that'd be just silly um so what i did was went and found another one and it's even nicer actually um anyway and i got a good deal on it so this is the new trike and uh now i'll show you the what you have to watch out for is that lock nut on this passenger side, on the port side, on the left side. That lock nut comes loose. And if it comes loose, it'll come out and hit the bearing on the hub. Now, the, this is the freewheeling wheel. 
it's on bearings on that axle. Now the axle still spins. <coughs> so most of the time it it, it, it uh, they're spinning together. Now then, when you hit the brake, if that nut is out there in contact with the hub, the wheel will keep spinning and the axle will stop. And the nut, if it's in contact with the wheel, will screw off and push the wheel off the axle, which parts the axle, splits the axle, and cuts it right there. I noticed in all the other videos I've seen around on the Meridians, it lose that wheel on the port side, and I believe that's why. It's not because of the axle's weak or anything. It's because that lock nut becomes loose and, and backs out and hits the hub of the wheel, and uh, that's what does it. So. It's important to uh, to make sure that lock nut is good and tight. Maybe lock tight on it. Uh, maybe drill it. I don't know why not. Uh, it'd be, maybe it'd be hard to drill it. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. And maybe uh, it's hard to say. But that's the deal. That's why. That's why they lose that port wheel. It really hurt me. I don't. I'll show you the the, the pictures and the deal when I cut this video. But uh, I went down hard. <laughs> and anyway, uh, it wasn't the fault of the axle. It was, uh, it's, it's designed that way. And if you don't check it and you don't know to check it and make sure about it, it's something that can happen to you if you've got a Schwinn Meridian. Okay. So anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to adapt all this. I'm, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start over from scratch here, knowing what I know now, what I learned, and I'll uh, I'll part out the other one, uh, use it for parts on and whatnot. Anyway, I'll start transferring the stuff over to it, and uh, once we get the 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 electric power going on it. Proper. I, I, what I really want to do, and I don't know how I'm looking into this, is uh, I'd really like to install gears on it. Um, this shaft here is uh, where it could possibly, the chain's long enough here that it, uh, I could put a derailleur on that, it's possible. And, uh, I could have a spool of gears there if I knew how to put them on. Uh, <laughs> could just weld them on, but I don't know about how all that would work. Anyway, I'd really like to have a couple gears would be really nice. Even just a couple. I guess I could do the front and have another. That's probably the way to do it, is put another gear or two on the, on the front. That may be... That may be what I'll do. Have a front derailleur. Anyway. So there we go. We're, uh, <laughs> we're committed. It was really going good. And then that really messed us up. And come to find out, it was just something we didn't know about on these meridians. That you got to watch that lock nut on the axle on the port side. Okay, everybody, there you go. Okay, well, I just pulled the, the old one out there. I even took it for a ride. <laughs> and uh, it's a credit to my welding ability. Uh, not to brag too much, but it's quite a feat to make it that straight and make it to where it uh, it seems to be fine. Not that I can trust it or anything, but I, I even took it out and kind of hopped it around and shuffling around and it seems fine. The whole thing is that lock nut thing. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. Now I'm considering since uh, this one's it's quite a bit of work to switch everything over to that other bike so I think that while it's in the shop I'm just going to steal the axle out of it and then uh, 
I'll pull this one back in and put the good, you know, that axle in this one. And um, I'll take this axle. I've been trying to order them, and evidently everybody's breaking these like crazy because they don't have them anywhere in the USA. And Schwinn gets them from China. And everything comes from China anyway. Uh, <laughs> but I could weld the shaft. <laughs> That's a credit to my welding ability. It's a credit to my faith in my welding ability that I actually rode it around. Because if it broke, it would, it would slam it down hard again. But anyway, not going to take that chance. We'll put the other axle in. I think that's what we'll do. That's what I'm thinking at this point. If i got time, I'll think about it some more. Thanks for watching.